Hello and welcome back to Slime Rancher. Welcome back to those of you who have seen this series before on the channel. And for those who are you, who are new and haven't seen this series on the channel before, welcome. It has been quite a while since I've played this game, I must admit. And the other day I just decided to launch it and do a little bit of work off camera. And now I want to play it and do some episodes in it. So we are doing that today. It has been a while, but I do have... Do have I have done some stuff off camera. Um, some, yeah, mainly just some farming stuff, such as doing this, collecting plots and feeding and stuff like that, and also done a tiny, tiny bit of planning. So we will be doing, I think, two things this episode. First off, I think we will sleep, so we have some nice daytime. Second, we will go and try and locate another key, so we can unlock the other area that I wanted to unlock. Um, I do believe there is honey slimes in there and potentially other stuff as well that we want so it is in that direction um, hopefully we will be able to unlock that today or at least get the key to it and then I want to move some stuff around to make things um, better for us and more optimized for example these guys here I want to move them in here I don't know why I haven't thought of this before because they live in nighttime and can't be out in light so might as well put them here in this um, place right here also so these guys aren't so lonely but yes I think we will um, <laughs> yeah I think uh, you know what let's sleep let us uh, do, 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 do actually let's just do it at night time it's fine it's actually pretty beautiful over there I don't know why I haven't seen this area before actually before we do that before we do that before we do that <laughs> let me get over here I did upgrade pretty much everything that I could upgrade Pulse Wave, Dash Boots, um, Power Core Mark II, Tank Booster, then yeah, everything that was available except for the Trash Cracker. It requires 4,500, uh, whatever that is, coins. And um, yeah, I don't quite have that. But I do have Pulse Wave, for example, so I can make some space if. Yeah, I'm too. Too many slimes are in the area. I wonder how it works. Yeah, like that. Something like that. And apparently it also has a small cooldown, which is perfectly fine. But anyways, also these are now upgraded to have 40 capacity, which is really, really nice for stuff like this. If you're wondering why, 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 why I have a bunch of meat, I think that needed to be a medium. If you're confused for why I have a bunch of living chickens in my um, vacuum pack here, then it's because, yeah, see this area, I don't know why I haven't noticed it or been down here yet, but it's a whole new area over here. I think I've mainly looked over here and never saw this area. Do you see that base slime over there? I do believe that hopefully it will drop a key. And if it does that, I'm going to be extremely happy. Also, there's a beach ball here. <laughs> That's quite fun. Um, but yeah, I did check this place out. It's not too big. But it's actually pretty cool. I don't know what this leads to. If you take a look at the map, um, it leads. Okay, so it leads all the way over here to the other stuff over here, which is pretty cool. But we don't want to go there right now. We want to stay over here with this big one. But basically, we will be feeding this guy um, stuff, and then hopefully he will drop a key or it. Um, as you can see, it's a tabby gordo and its diet is meat so I'm gonna feed it living chickenses D oh does it not eat chickadoos I guess it doesn't okay well I'm gonna give these guys their freedom it does eat roosters and a bunch of us though I'm sorry that we're in this guy's mouth but <laughs> there's not much space to stand on here hopefully I do have enough and we should be able to do this. Oh dear, he becomes big. Okay, we don't have quite enough. But he is shaking, so we're almost there. Let me just get over here. Hemi, 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 hemi. There we go. Let me give these guys their freedom. And let me just find some more chickens. I did see some in the area. They're probably eaten already. Let me see. There should be some in this area over here. Alright, 17 more chickens. Can we shoot them from over here? Oh, we can. Okay, so we don't need to be in this guy's face. Oh, and explode, explode. Do we have a key? No, no key. 
Well, that's annoying, isn't it? Hmm. I was hoping for a key, but apparently not. Well, that's a shame. And I'll check and cut Eden. And these guys, I guess I can just, yeah, put them back. Now what? Where did this take us? What? I have not discovered this area yet. Oh well, I've seen it on the map, but I've never been here. Okay, I want to do that in daytime. So, oh dear, stop that. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, let us check that out. I will go over to the ranch, sleep, make sure all the slimes are happy and fed and whatnot. And then we're gonna take over there and take a look at that. And then we will move some stuff around um, the ranch. This shouldn't take too long, hopefully. Alright, that should be all the stuff done. Now we can go and check out that other area that I have never been at. At least from what I remember. I do not remember being there whatsoever. So, this is a new area to look at. That's gonna be pretty cool. As long as I can survive the journey. And not fall into the water. In some stupid way. <laughs> Knowing me, that's gonna happen. Let's get over here. Get over here. And uh -huh. maybe that's gonna be another Gorgon. Gorgon? No, Gorgon slime over here. But whatever they're called, I don't remember that name. <laughs> Anyways, let's take a look. I like the place though. I like it. Oh, we have more puddle slime. Nice. I like the puddle slimes. Okay. That's nice. Let's keep a good look at this place because I want to see whatever there is to see. Eh. Like if there's any secrets or any of the big slimes that could potentially have a key, I want to know about it. Okay, so this is where we would have ended up any... Ow! Okay then. Let's get up here. Eh. There we go. Carrots. Okay, so this is above the pond. I'm trying to keep a system so I know where I've been, but it's a little bit tricky. Water, fresh water, nice. Got a bridge here. Do we have anything special over on this end? Nope, not really. We got some, well, slimes and not much else going on. Let's try and cross the bridge. Oh, we do have a big one here. Diet everything. Nice. I assume that will then drop a key, hopefully. I don't know. What's this? Got a torch here. Leads back to... Something. <laughs> Something. Nice. Okay, I actually see the teleport over there. So let's just... Okay. Okay, nice. Eat everything. Sweet. Well, in that... Whoa. Well, in that case... Just had a bunch of carrots, but that's not going to be enough either. Let me see what I have laying around here. All right, we are back here again. I have 40 pogo fruit and 40 carrots. Hopefully this will be... Eh. Okay, that was not enough energy to get up there. Hopefully this will be enough food to, um, to feed that thing. Let me just remember where it was again. I do believe it was up here across the bridge and then we would be there. If this is enough enough food, well, then we should hopefully be able to just get some from this island. But anyways, let's feed this thing. A bunch of pogo fruits. Oh, that's more than enough. Yes, a key. Uh, can we take it? Yes, we got a key. Nice. We should now be able to unlock a new area then. Let me just open these up. Get some money out of it. Nice. We have a key. Awesome. So I think in the next episode, let me just spread these all around. I think in the next episode, we will, um, oh dear, uh, where did I come from? Oh, uh, here, I believe. 
Yeah, I better not get lost. Um, I think in the next episode, we will then go and un unlock a new area that I really want unlocked. Oh, there is the... There it be! <laughs> there is my teleportation device. Oh dear. Okay, that would have been bad if I hadn't had... If I didn't have made that jump, that would have been terrible. But yes, in the next episode, I think we will go and unlock that new area, because I'm very excited about getting some honey slimes. They should be pretty interesting, hopefully. At least they will give honey. Don't know how interesting they will be, but they will give honey. And I I want that. Okay, so let me just... I don't care about these carrots, to be honest. Just uh, fluke them around everywhere. I don't think I'm going to sleep. Let's do this in the night time. Um, yeah, because if I sleep, well, they... Whoa! What on earth? Huh? Why are there so many of these? What is... How did this thing become full? What? How? When? <laughs> I don't have a spot for them in... Okay, I have to sell them then. Okay, they don't go for a very high price, 17, but I mean... I can't really do much else with them. I mean, I can leave them be, but that's gonna be a mess. I'm, you know what? I'm gonna leave them. How did you get out? Get back in there. There you go. Okay, let me get rid of these carrots here and let us move those guys in the other place. So, let's do that. Actually, let's sell these, because we will need the money. And actually, all of you get in my vacuum cleaner. There you go. Did I only have eight in there? Wow. Okay, then. Let's sell the rest of these, because we will need the money. But yeah, honey, honey plots. I do believe these are the honey plots. Like, look at that price. That's gonna be pretty epic. And I can't wait to get all of the other ones as well. That looks like some fire thing. Anyways, let's get inside. It only makes sense that we put these guys inside um, the cave where they should be. I don't know if it's the radio slimes um, if they have to be in darkness but I think it's just because I thought it was cool or something but anyways these guys will get a new friend now let's take a look here uh, let us get a coral let's get some high walls and then a air net because I do believe these guys can fly since they have wings you guys should be good in here in the dark and let's get a plot collector and a auto feeder we don't quite have enough money for the auto feeder we should be able to just get that pretty quickly since um yeah i will have to demolish this one i will have to actually sell all of these phosphor plots anyway because i will have to demolish that uh, that thing so let me just sell all of these we will get all the food and such moved as well. All right, that's all the force for plots gone. Let's see what we can do with this place. Demolish, because we don't want that darkness in there or that dark room. For now, anyway, I don't know if we'll get any slime that will require a um, solar shield thing. Uh, auto feeder, let's purchase that one. And let us put that in there. All right, that is that. I don't think we will ever want a solar shield, to be honest, because I would much rather put these guys, any any slime that can't be out in the sun, I would rather have them down here in the... Uh... Oops, sorry, buddy. Eh. Well, get back in there. These guys can be a pain. I would much rather have the slimes that don't require that needs not sunlight. That don't that don't doesn't want sun. Put them in the doesn't want sun area, which is the cave. <laughs> Anyways, let me just sell these uh, puddle plots real quick. And so just that. Now these guys, they occasionally fly out. So I do believe I want Ow to give one of them their freedom. Uh, yeah, you buddy. Guess what? You're the you're the winner of today. Be free. Well, he could. 
<laughs> Be free. He can fly. He's out. All right, so this is what I've done so far. I've moved the boom crystal slimes from over there to here, next to the blue ones, who is over there. I removed the um, coral thing here and added the beetroot over here. And then these two are producing the, um, the odd onions. Because we do require some more of those for those guys. One plot doesn't exactly give us enough. So yeah, we need two of those. The orca orcas are still growing over there. I purchased another silo, which is over there. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Now, for further what to do, I will actually let you guys have a voice in this. So, I have two ways I want to do this. Either A, move... Okay, maybe not all, but move most crop growing over in that area over there and then have slimes here and then in there the benefit with that is that i will be able to go over to the um garden area take all i need because i will only have the the stuff that i will need for these guys i will not have extra so i will pick up everything that i need and then go through the place and then i'll be done the not benefit with that is that the slimes won't be in a green nice area which they would be if they were over there. Which is the second option. Move all the slimes except for the ones that are in the cave and that require the cave. Move all the slimes over there. And then have the garden stuff over here. The benefit of that is that the slimes will be in the green nice area over there. There's like four areas to have um, corals over there. The minus with that is that the, the growing area will be here and I will have to take stuff from here, go over there, then go back and go over there over there or in there and then over there and yeah another benefit with having all the slimes in this general area is that it is easy to sell and to store if the slimes are both there and there it will be like going for to there to there then going back over there and then having to go back and forth which i have to do now for example i will have to do this anyway but like the radioactive slimes here their plot storage is actually full, so now I need to take that, empty it, either sell it or store it in the silo. And it's just easier, I think, in a way, to, um, to have all the slimes in this general area so I can easily get to, the, to these places without having to go back and forth and stuff. I don't know. And I'm actually going to, um, to store these. But let me know what you think and if you think there are any other pros and cons with this. So all the slimes here and there and potentially over there if we run out of space and move all crop growing to there. Or have the slimes that don't need to be in the cave or in the green area with like more nature and such and then have all the crops here. Let me know what you think down in the comments below as feedback is always appreciated and activity and such like that. I do want to involve the community as much as possible. So please be sure to let me know your thoughts down below. If you have any, even if you don't have any slime writer experience, let me know your thoughts. Sometimes watching things from another perspective is very helpful. Tank booster mark three. How much is that? I could definitely use that. 750, I'm taking that. We are also taking the treasure cracker. It allows you to bypass the locks on basic treasure parts. Definitely want that. We already have this, of course. That is nice. I don't know how much we will be able to now have in our inventory, but it is definitely a lot better. Can I take these now? I can. Perfect. Let me take these. Hopefully this will supply enough to these guys that they will be happy about it. All right, I think we are done for today, though before we do go, since we now have the treasure cracker, I do know that there's a treasure over here. See, there's plenty of room over here as well. There's one, two, three, four, and another one over there. I don't know what that is, but that is another silo we can use as well. Yeah, see another one over here, but I do know that there's a treasure right here. Open. What will we have in it? What? Hexabomb? What's all this stuff? Okay, let's take a look. Deep brine, salt of the earth. Salt of the earth kind of stuff. What on earth? 
Hexabomb, Beast of Endiometry, the Chocolate and Peanut Butter of Nature, Strange Diamond, I think that will come in a bit, very strange but even more valuable, Slime Science Material, not slime food. They put strange diamonds into the lab's refinery where they can be used for fabricating slime science gadgets. Okay, I guess we'll do that. Deposit hexacom into the lab's refinery where it can then be used for fabricating slime science gadgets. I guess we'll do that. Deep brine, not slime food either. Deposit deep brine into the lab's refinery. Okay, I guess we'll do that just before we go then. Seems like that is where it belongs. I guess when we put it in there, it's then stored there for whenever we need it to make stuff. I believe this is the refinery, so if I do that, let's take a look. Then we have one strange diamond. All right, that's nice. So put that in there and that, and it should all be stored in here. Three, one strange diamond and five deep diamond. Okay, nice. That's cool. Now I just have to be eyes open for any other treasure parts because that was pretty interesting. If you do know where there are some, also let me know down in the comments, because I do not remember where they are, so I will actually have to search for them. <laughs> How did that get here? Excuse me. Okay then. Interesting. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. I do hope you enjoyed. I think in the next one, yes, in the next one, we will use our key down there to unlock a new area. And we might also take one of those quests. And there's another one of those crazy plots. You know what I'm gonna buy here? Yeah, Ned. I can see that come in handy. But yes, we might take one of these in the next episode and unlock a new area, which then means a new area for the slimes but let me know down in the comments farming area here and then slimes there or slimes there and then farming area here let me know also let me know if you have any pros and cons about the um splitting of where this of where the slimes should be and such but anyways that's gonna do it for this episode i do hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to leave it a like and subscribe if you think it really earned it helps the channel grow and be sure to check out my Twitter, Twitch, and Discord server, link down below in the description. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Woo.